Amid the ongoing Seoul-Beijing diplomatic tensions, Seoul's top office has expressed concerns over the controversial remarks by China's ambassador to South Korea with Beijing hitting back. A senior White House official weighed in, saying South Korea has every right to make its own foreign policy decisions. Pei Eun-ji has the latest. South Korea is a sovereign, independent nation that has the right to make foreign policy decisions that it deems appropriate. That's according to White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby, speaking about China's ambassador to South Korea, Xin Haiming, who said last week that it would be wrong for Seoul to bet on Beijing's defeat, apparently criticizing South Korea's foreign policy leaning towards the U.S. In a press briefing on Monday U.S. local time, the senior White House official also added that it appears as if there was some sort of, quote, pressure tactic being used. An official from Seoul's presidential office had also said Monday that an ambassador's role is to act as a bridge between two countries, and that if that bridge does not conduct its role properly, it can harm the national benefits of both countries. The official also told reporters that under Article 41 of the Vienna Convention, diplomats must respect the laws of the receiving state, and that it's also their duty not to interfere in the internal affairs of that state. It's rare for South Korea's top office to openly criticize an ambassador from a particular country, meaning that the government is taking the situation seriously. In response, the Chinese foreign ministry simply said it's the ambassador's job to meet and communicate with a wide range of officials in order to boost its relations with South Korea. All this diplomatic controversy comes as the Chinese ambassador has said last week that South Korea was entirely to blame for the many difficulties in bilateral relations, and that Seoul will certainly regret it later. Some are betting that the United States will win and China will lose, but clearly this is a misjudgment. As both sides continue to exchange harsh comments, it appears that it'll take some time before the two countries find a way to repair ties. Pei Eun-ji, Arirang News.